When the Secretary of uh, State for Health and Social Care, Sajid Javed, asked me to take on this independent review, I wasn't totally sure it was needed. I'll be completely frank and honest with you. I was one of the many people who thought smoking had already been sorted. But I soon discovered the scale of the challenge that we are still facing and the fact that smoking still remains the single biggest cause of preventable illness and death. I am clear that there is no argument that reducing smoking now is more relevant than ever. We should note that during the pandemic, the proportion of young adults who have smoked rose from a quarter to a third. We also know that prevalence of smoking is varied and highest amongst our poorest places, where those who can least afford it are spending the most on smoking and driving them and their children into poverty. So in my report, I say that smoking has to be critical to the government's leveling up agenda. First, more investment is needed in local stop smoking services. Well-funded stop smoking services are extremely cost-effective and proven to significantly improve people's chances of quitting smoking for good. So I want government to invest 70 million of the 125 ring-fenced for this purpose only, distributed according to rates of smoking prevalence. Second, I want the government to invest 15 million pounds in well-designed national mass media campaigns supported by targeted regional media. If government cannot find the additional 125 million, which I must say is a relatively modest ask, it has the option to introduce a polluter pays levy. Whilst public services like the NHS are in crisis, the tobacco industry makes about a billion pounds of profit every year in the UK off the back of our most disadvantaged communities. So why shouldn't they pay for the harms they create?